The first tool on the list, and the preset default, is the interlinear tool. If the Bible is the backbone to the Blue Letter Bible, then the interlinear is the backbone to the BLB's Bible study tools. Kind of the backbone within the backbone. The interlinear is the principal way in which you, the user, can interact with the original languages in which the Bible was written. It's also one of the two primary means by which to access the English language concordance. The interlinear tool is sandwiched between two original language representations of the verse you've selected. If you are in the Old Testament, the top bit contains the Masoretic text, the Hebrew text that our Old Testament translations are primarily based on, and the bottom portion displays the Septuagint, an ancient Greek translation of the Old Testament scriptures. In the New Testament, the top portion contains the Greek manuscript from which your chosen translation is primarily translated, while the bottom portion displays the manuscript used by the other main text tradition. For instance, if you're reading the book of Jude in the New King James, the top will display the Textus Receptus, while the bottom displays the morphological Greek New Testament. These will be reversed if you are reading in, say, the English Standard Version. Probably more relevant to most of our users is the interlinear list that appears immediately after the first original language example. Here there will be three or four columns of information in easily discernible rows. In the first column, you'll see represented all the words of the passage in either the KJV or NASB translation, whichever is closest to the translation you're reading in. Note that we have to use one of these two translations for our interlinear because we key off Strong's numbers and we only have these available in KJV and NASB. Clicking on one of these English words will perform a word search for every instance of that word in Scripture. Clicking on the Phrase button will search all Scripture for the indicated phrase. In the second column, you'll see the related Strong's number. Clicking on one of these will grant access to the BLB lexicon, basically a dictionary that defines the root term from its original language usage, shows the various ways the term is translated across the scope of the Bible, and a list of every time that Greek or Hebrew term appears in Scripture, whether it's translated as it was in your original verse or not. We'll discuss the lexicon more in another video. The third column offers transliteration and pronunciation of the original language root for the term you're looking at. Strong's G, 1656, Elias, Elias. In some translations, there will be a fourth column that will include parsing information related to the term's use in the particular instance you're looking at. 